So welcome everyone to a new video. So in this video, we are going to talk about an interesting problem that I shared on the YouTube community. In fact, this question was asked in June 2015 in NET exam. It's a very difficult question. Trust me guys, a very difficult question. Especially not because of step one, but it is because of the step two. Because you, you were required to have a knowledge to, to have worked on such compounds in the lab. And not surprisingly, the answers were wrong and the correct answer was option number one. Okay. It would be very very baffling for you guys to see that here in the first step we are doing conjugate addition. So how can these two groups be, you know, cis to each other? How can this This is exactly what we are going to understand in this video. Secondly, second A to B, what is happening? This is what we are going to see. As I said, this is entirely you know entirely what you they observe when they carry out the reaction so basically what is happening is epimerization that is something that we are going to also look at but first of all we are going to look at the first step okay Dekh lete hai. Uske liye, let us just first of all go back and try to see ki conjugate additions ke inda kya hota hai. so what i'm going to do i'm going to start from the cyclohexenone okay so let us consider our cyclohexenone hai, in which both these hydrogens ko maine red label kiya hai, different because at the end of the reaction we want to see where they end up becoming now jab bhi hum gilman reagent se reaction karte hai organocuprate se reaction karte hai humko pata hai ki it is going to attack in a conjugate manner thik hai it is going to attack like that r let us suppose this r is approaching from the top phase so i have labeled it as r since this is coming from the top phase so this hydrogen here is going to go behind the plane Next, when we do it in electrophile sequence, we know it basically attacks the electrophile. Electrophile ko count se is wale phase pe kar jao, us wale phase se attack kare ki R jo group hai, iska bulk kafi high hota hai. So basically it attacks us from, from the lower phase, thik hai? Behind the plane se. As a result of which, this particular reaction we can clearly see, ye dono ke dono jo substitution hote hai, they are Trans. But important baat kya hai jaanne wali? What you should see the, in dono particular hydrogens ka stereochemistry. They are also trans to each other, right? Agar ye dono substituent trans hai, to hydrogen bhi trans hoge. Agar maan lijiye. Let us suppose if I replace one of the hydrogens with the with a substituent, let's say methyl group, unki bhi same stereochemistry rahegi. Obviously, methyl or hydrogen ke beech mein bhi trans stereochemistry rahegi. So what is the difference? Here we are dealing with the cyclohexenone. And instead of the cyclohexenone, what they did, they basically put an acetyl group which is outside the ring. Okay? Here, what you have is that they have replaced this hydrogen with acetyl group. Because of this, all the confusion that was created. We know that in the whole conjugate addition, these two groups end up becoming trans. So, what does this mean? That our acetyl and hydrogen, they will also end up becoming trans. Trans, which we are seeing here. Let us just try to proceed it. So, I have a red mark here. So, basically, what we are using is phenyl magnesium bromide and copper iodide. So, what we are generating is a di diphenyl cuprate. So, actual nucleophile is phenyl carbonyl. So, all the options we have given are phenyl is coming out of the plane. So, here they have shown the relative stereochemistry. So, if we presume this phenyl to be attacking from top phase. Aapka kya hua double bond Your aapka yaha move hua It is going to go here See Phenyl is coming from top phase So phenyl aapka top phase pe hua Hydrogen is going behind the plane Ab aapka kya ho raha hai so, When this enolate is coming back In the second step we are quenching it with the acidic water Thik hai ammonium chloride ho sakta hai Ya phir yaha par HCl se bhi kar sakte hai Certain one or two normal se Wohi kar raha hai SCO plus show kiya hai So what it does is basically यहाँ पर क्या कर रहा है इस हाइड्रो प्रोटॉन को पिकअप करता है अपनों को बिहाइंड डी प्लेन से जब भी आपका वापस हार रहा है और वो मैंने क्यों बोला जैसे मैंने यहाँ बोला इसके अंदर सेम फंडा यहीं पर हो रहा है दिस इज एक्जेक्टली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग सो इट इज अटैकिंग दिस हाइड्रोजन और सर दिस इज this two groups they end up becoming trans and this hydrogen and this phenyl they end up becoming trans ठीक है हम conjugate addition में क्या होता है कि electrophile आपका यहाँ nucleophile आपका पहले में क्या था phenyl था दूसरे में electrophile आपका गया हो hydrogen 
यहां पर क्या था इसको फिनाइल मान लो और इस इलेक्ट्रोफाइल को प्रोटोन मान लो दैट्स व्हाट इट इज ठीक है रादर देन कोई भी फंक्शन ग्रुप दे हैव सिंपली टेकन अ आई मीन प्रोटोन जैसे वाटर से क्वेंच कर दिया उसको ऐसे डे वाटर से दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट दे डिड फिनाइल और ये दोनों के दोनों ट्रांस एंड दीस आर टू ट्रांस सो अगर हम ऑप्शन से मैच करें ऑप्शन 1 या ऑप्शन 3 दोनों में से करेक्ट है सो दिस इज हाउ यू कुड हैव अप्रोच दिस प्रॉब्लम बट आई मीन आई I am honestly, अगर आप इसको normally देखेंगे आप conjugate addition करेंगे and you would know it has to be two or four. You just nobody would even think अगर आपको ये concept नहीं पता होगा. Now we are going to look how we can go from A to B in sodium hydroxide and bromine. ठीक है? That is so. Now we are going to look at the second part of the problem. So what we have is this compound in hand. ठीक है? So we are treating with the sodium methoxide. So the first step is basically the abstraction of this particular proton, okay, to form the enolate. Now, this reaction, what happens? If you have an enolate, then this comes back, okay, and it is going to pick up this particular proton. And what is happening? We are getting the compound. So basically, what is happening in two-step sequence? Me, it is the epimerization. That is happening in this two-step sequence, and all the steps are. आपका क्या है कि equilibrium के अंदर हैं वाले steps, ठीक है? अब आप सवाल पूछेंगे कि how would you know that equilibrium is happening? So this is the exact reason why I said that for when you work on such compounds, ठीक है? ये दोनों के दोनों substituent क्या है कि cis हैं, ठीक है? They are not stability of this compound and stability of this compound. अगर आप इसका chair conformer draw करके देखेंगे, so both of them are trans to each other, so they can adopt the equatorial equatorial position. So this is far more stable than this particular compound. But now you can question whether if that is the case, so first step के अंदर आपका ये क्यों बना? ठीक है? First step के अंदर there was no external factor. जब हमने first step के अंदर यहाँ बनाया product को isolate किया, reaction में कहीं पर भी हमारा base नहीं है, और इस epimerization को affect करने के what we need is a base. So that is the reason why first step में हमारा all दो ये बन गया, but क्योंकि ये दोनों का क्या cis है और cis के अंदर हमको पता है कि this is the two conformation that are possible. O CO CH three ठीक है and दूसरा क्या है हमारा cis में कि phenyl यहाँ हो और ये हमारा ये हो ठीक है. So these are the two conformer chain conformation axial equatorial equatorial axial phenyl group having that axial position is not a good situation. So now you can understand what it is the thermodynamically more stable product that drives this epimerization. Because those two, these two substituents are becoming trans to each other. Trans will be formed, so they can exist in this conformer where both can be equatorial, equatorial. So it is this drive which you know which makes this epimerization happen. It's one step to open up the epimerization. Okay, now coming back to the second part. अब आपका ये भी हो सकता है ठीक है इपिमराइजेशन तो चलो आप हमें समझ आ गया कि ये बन गया तो यू कैन प्रेज्यूम ये भी सोच सकते हो कि यहाँ पर जैसे बना देन दिस कुड हैव इजीली अटैक द ब्रोमीन टू गिव यू दी डिजायर प्रोडक्ट ठीक है जैसे मैंने बोला इट इस दिस ड्राइव टू गेट दिस टेबल प्रोडक्ट once you get this enolate, it has no other option than to come back to this compound. Or when you abstract proton from the terminal position, ठीक है? You form this particular enolate. Enolate आपका वापस आया, आप bromine पे attack किया to give you the desired product. So that is the reason option number one was correct. Primary reason is the drive. So you abstract the proton from here. यहाँ से option proton अच्छा किया क्या होगा? वापस इसमें चला जाएगा. So this will keep equilibrating, and we know it is this drive. To give more stable compound that pushes this reaction into the forward direction. So, very difficult problem tha, very interesting problem tha. So, I hope you were able to understand why the correct option was option number one. Okay, thanks a lot for watching the video and have a good day. Take care of yourself. Bye.